Scale it on X, Y, and Z. Edit mode. Cut the shape with the knife tool. Complete the loops. Dissolve the extra edges. Complete the loops again. Go to the back side. Add loop cuts vertically and horizontally. Join the edges by pressing J. Select the panel face and separate it by selection. Select the top edges and the bottom edges. Control B to bevel up to three iteration. Select those edges on the top and the bottom, scale them on x-axis and join the edges by pressing J. Go to the side view, shift Z for wireframe view, select all the faces on the back separate by selection, select all the mid faces and separate them as well. We have three pieces, set origin of the front and the back piece to geometry, select all the side edges of the front piece and bevel them. Do the same to the back piece. Select the inner loop by alt click, extrude, scale in to create some plastic stuff, bevel all the corner edges of the middle piece. Select the inner loop of the front piece and do the same thing as the back piece. Add a cube, edit mode, select all the faces, scale it and grab it to the place where the hole should be, bevel it, duplicate it. Select the middle piece and add a boolean modifier. Solver mode fast. Pick the cube and apply the modifier. Delete the cube. Select the outside loops of the middle piece and create the plastics. Selecting the loops with alt click and beveling the sharp edges. Don't forget to save the file. Select the sharp edges from boolean and bevel them. Let's cut a new panel from the top view and separate the faces from selection. Select the inner edges and create the plastics by extruding. Select the unnecessary extra loops and dissolve them. Select the new panel and dissolve the cut to make it one piece. Extrude the face to make the plastic again. Bevel the sharp edges, add a cube, grab it to the position where the buttons should be. Scale it to the size of a button, add a loop cut in the middle and scale it to make the curve. Select all the sharp edges and bevel them. Duplicate it and position it where it should be. Let's duplicate the button and scale it to make the smaller one. Position it correctly and duplicate again. Select all the buttons, duplicate, right click to cancel grab, Control J to join them. Select the panel, add a boolean modifier with fast solver, select the joint buttons, edit mode, select all, transform pp should be individual origin, scale them a bit up, now pick the joint buttons as a boolean, apply it, delete the joint, add a cylinder. Scale it to the shape of a coin. Grab it to the place of the volume rocker. Rotate if needed. Now add a boolean modifier to the middle piece. Fast solver. Select the cylinder as a boolean. Apply. This time scale the cylinder down and keep it. Select the faces in checkerboard pattern. Extrude a bit. Now change the transform PP back to median point. Duplicate the gear and scale it down. Looks like a switch. Now do the boolean stuff again. Select the inner edges of the front piece. Make the plastics. 
select the panel and extrude it. Bevel the sharp edges at the front, hide it, add a new plane, position and scale it for the cassette texture and hide the glass panel, it's shading time. Create a new material for the glass, transmission 1, roughness 0, material properties, material settings. Blend mode to alpha blend, shadow mode to alpha clip, disable back face, enable screen space reflection, refraction depth 0.1, IOR 1.55. In render properties, enable screen space reflection. In there, turn off half rest trace, enable refraction, edge fading 0, enable ambient occlusion for better color. Hide everything except the glass. Separate the back face and move it a bit inside to make a gap. Hide everything except the back face now. Cut the shape of the hole. Later we're gonna delete the hole. I mean the faces. I mean the face of the hole. I mean we're gonna create a hole. Unhide everything except the glass panel. Select the edges and tweak their positions by pressing G twice. Change the color to black and select the inner loops. Extrude and scale it to make new faces. Select new faces. Add a new material slot, add a new material. Change the color to fully black and zero roughness. Tweak the color of the other material. Loop cuts to create more faces. New material with the color of your choice. Select the faces and assign material. Tweak the properties of the principal BSDF. Duplicate the principal color to white. Add a mix shader before the material output. Connect the nodes. Add the image. Connect the alpha of the image to the fac of the mix. Add a math node before the fac. Change base color to black. Add UV map, pick the only UV map you have. Being in the front view, press U to unwrap. Pick project from view. In UV editing panel, select material preview so you can see what you're doing. Select all the words in the editor panel, position and scale them to match the reference. Copy the colored principles and the image nodes from the current material to the grayish material. Add a mix shader from before and connect them as well. Don't need the math node here. Select the face where the writing should be and tweak the vertices on the UV editor to match the reference. Unhide the glass panel. Let's fix the material. Select a new material for the glass. Roughness 0. Transmission 1. Blend mode, alpha blend, shadow mode, alpha clip, SSR enable, back face visible, refraction depth 0.1. Select the gray panel's gray material and revert the settings. Everything works now. Select the glass material, duplicate the SDF, tweak colors, transmission 0. Add the image, view the alpha. Project UV from front view. Change repeat to clip. Alpha to fac. View the shader. Swap BSDF connections. Position and scale the vertices to match the reference. Add the image again. Duplicate mix shader. Duplicate the white BSDF. Connect it. View the image color. Change repeat to extend. Add a color ramp after it. Tweak the black and white to get this look. In object data properties, create a new UV map. Select it. Tweak the position of the vertices. Make the connection. Add UV unwrap node. Select the new UV map you created. Duplicate it. Connect it. Delete the previous UV map. Change the color. And now we have a UV problem to fix. 
easy. In edit mode, delete the front face and press Ctrl I to select all the other faces. In UV editor, grab them away from the texture and it fixed. Select the gray panel again and add a new material plot. Assign the Walkman logo where it should be. Copy the materials of the gray one. Paste them into the new material. Tweak the color to match the Walkman logo. Add the image. Delete the previous one. Connect alpha to fact. Project UV from front view. Tweak position and scale in UV editor. Stuff are kinda repeated from here. Hide the glass and the gray panel. New material for the cassette. Add the texture. Project from view to fix the UV. Tweak the parts in UV editor. Let's create an alpha mask out of the image using the color ramp. Connect to alpha. Image to base color. Create a bump map with the color ramp. And add a bump node. Color to height. Normal to normal. Tweak the strength and the distance to make it look good. You can use it as a roughness map too. Tweak the cassette size if you want. Hey, looking pretty good. Let's create the material for the front and the back panel. Since we've done this just before, it's pretty easy now. Shade smooth the front and the back panel with auto smooth enabled. Auto smooth value for the middle panel should be 45 degree. Let's make a shiny black material for the middle piece. We're gonna add the same material to all of the objects in the middle. Don't forget to smooth your objects, because in real life, everything is not as sharp as a blade. Add a new material for the middle piece. Copy the black PSDF and paste it in the new material. Let's make the connections as before and assign it to the face. Unwrap and tweak it in the UV editor. Don't forget about the properties. Smooth the buttons. Let's cheat here. We will use the previous node setup for every button. Just changing the image. You can follow me or try it out for yourself.
for the middle panel we will use a bunch of UV maps and mix shaders over and over like we did before. Slow down the video if you need. As we selected a new face, we gotta assign the material to the face too. Again, same stuff, new material, new texture, assign, UV tweaks, And voila! Let's make a simple scene and light it up. The project is fully EV optimized, so good luck in creating the best. The project files and the textures will be available in Gumroad for free. Check the link in the description and download them.